for so long, every time I would check my Facebook or my Twitter or something, at every Tuesday around 8 or so o'clock, everyone's like, Pretty Little Liars, time for PPL, Pretty Little Liars. And I'm just like, what the fuck is Pretty Little Liars? Like, I knew it was a series of books. I just never was interested in them because I'm just like, after Gossip Girl and The Click, I'm just like, you know what? I'm too grown for this. I can't read this books anymore. But, you know, I checked out the pilot for the first, um, for the first season. I checked out the pilot. The acting was horrible, so I was like, no. But then, this summer, I was really bored. And they have all the episodes on Hulu. So I watched them all. So, here's what I think about Pretty Little Liars, basically. Um, the acting sucks, still. And my god, if that isn't a show full of interchangeable leads, the only reason Hannah stands out is because she's blonde. Everyone else, and maybe the girl who plays Emily because she's um, Filipina, so she kind of stands out that way. But everybody else, you could pretty much switch them around with anybody. Like, what is, what is this whole trend now of having these interchangeable brunettes with brown eyes? Like, Victoria Justice and Nina Dobrev, um, you could switch them up and I would never know who the, f who the fuck is different. Every time I see Victoria Justice and Nina Dobrev, I'm just like, you two are separated at birth. You're like the Katy Perry and, and um, Zoe Deschanel, like, get this whole thing. The thing about Pretty Little Liars that pretty much gets to me is that they're so unlikable. Like, I don't see why I'm supposed to root for any of these girls. Like, I root for A. I watch this show because I enjoy seeing A mess with their lives. Because honestly, I don't see how they don't deserve it. I mean, they blinded a girl for no fucking reason. Because they don't because they saw Toby may or may not have been like, you know, peeping on them since so fuck throw a firecracker in their thing and so like they blinded her, like they didn't go to police. They just bribed the little the boy Toby. And, like even though I know we know now that Jenna like molested Toby, like that doesn't matter to me. Because like it matters to me in the sense that like it's horrible, she should go to jail for that stuff. But they should go to jail for blinding her in the first place and they don't. And they refuse to. And that's why I feel like A's never gonna let them stop. She's never gonna stop doing this because they don't deserve to be forgiven because they have not come clean as to what they've done and as far as i'm concerned as long as they do that they deserve to suffer because if they did that not only would they go down but they would bring jenna down for what she did for toby but they don't and that's why i can't root for them because it's just like how can you do something like that to someone and they didn't even know what was going on with them beforehand and be like oh you know she did a thing i'm so like no please and a, A, Ash, Allison, whatever the fuck, A, Allison, whatever the fuck her name is, her, I don't see what's supposed to be, I mean, I feel sorry for her being dead in the sense that, like, oh, she's young, she shouldn't have had to die, but she, she's a horrible person, like, I don't mourn her, like, I feel like they the only people who care about her, like, stop. She was not a nice person, she was not a good friend, she was rude, didn't care about anything but herself, she may have had inner depth, we'll find about it later in the season, but literally, what did she do? She brought them all together by using them, manipulating them, you know, keeping their secrets. Never shared any of herself because, you know, she probably had, like, deep-seated reasons or issues with her family. You know, the, the usual, you know, WPB. But other than that, like, she wasn't nice. She didn't treat people with respect. Why should I care that she's dead? Because she's your friend. You guys aren't nice either. You guys all live in these great homes with these... And their parents aren't, like, the stupidest people ever. Like... They let them do whatever they want. Like, no wonder your children think that they can get away with blinding people because you let them do whatever they want. They're 16 years old and you let them have all this stuff. You don't ground them. You're still completely possessing your own little lives. I'm just like, you let your daughter drink wine with you? You're not even French. You're just doing it to be cool. It, 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 it's, it's just beyond me. Like, I, I just can't. And, like, the one I hate the most, I know everyone loves Spencer, I can't friggin' stand her. Emily and Hannah are the only two characters I kind of like because Emily doesn't really do anything. You know, she's just kind of like, oh, I'm a lesbian. That's really it. She was the only one who was nice to Toby, so I kind of like her for that. Hannah is just kind of like, she's just too pathetic for me to hate because she's really just kind of just like, you know, she's she's that fat girl who's just like, I'm pretty now, so I have to just like be strong. It's like, I, I like the fact that she kind of like, stands out more, but I think it's just because she's blonde and so she throws up the whole brunette equilibrium. But, you know, she's got fight to her. I kind of like her for that, you know. She, she, for some reason, I find her likable. Maybe it's because she was in Bring It On. Maybe, because I, I don't know why, but I've seen every Bring It On movie. Maybe that's why I like her, because she was in that movie and I thought that movie was fun. But, you know, she was alright. But, like, Spencer and, and Arya? Oh, my fucking god. Arya and 
her teacher dating is like the stupidest fucking thing because apparently in the book that shit went down real quick but like the whole issue like all right i ain't gonna lie hot for teacher story there's stories about like oh you're dating your teacher oh you're doing this you know i, I don't really have a problem with, with that kind of stuff you know i think it's better when you're like you know whatever the, like she's 16 and and like she's a legal age to like date him or stick with him or whatever but I feel like they should have just waited until like you know she wasn't in his class anymore and then that'd be okay because then he wouldn't have any like, authority over her it wouldn't be weird or whatever but like it's being played this complete true love thing like oh my god you know where you make so much sense I'm so mature and I'm so this I'm just like you're not mature are you I watch you every day on this television set and you have not done one thing to show even the I, I even an iota of maturity a, a single fucking thing nothing i don't oh she likes to read oh i like to read oh face that's it she offers nothing she's so concerned in her own life doesn't even give a shit about her brother who's now being all crazy because of the whole divorce issue like was she caring about him during that no not a, not a goddamn thing i'm looking at holly marie combs like piper piper why are you in this show why are children talking back to you why don't you freeze them and make them stop or just blow i went for just her just freeze Arya and then just blow her head off. It, it's ridiculous. The show is ridiculous. You know, it's one of those things where like I, I but I can't stop watching it though. Because I just, I want to see how it's going to mess with their lives even more. Because to me it's just that funny. Because they, they, they are the worst Nancy Drews in the motherfucking world. They think everyone is A. And I'm waiting for them to just be like, oh my god, they're going to turn each other and think that the other person is A. Because they are so stupid they're so stupid like everything they do is wrong i'm just like you know what i'm laughing at you right now that's what that show is for that is my catharsis because it's just like i'm just sitting there for 45 minutes watching these four girls run around like a chicken with their head cut off just like damn you guys are so dumb i'm so happy because you may have money and nice clothes i guess but you're dumbasses you're complete dumbasses who will never achieve anything in life that wasn't handed over to you because you're fucking idiots. Even Spencer, she's probably the smart one. She's the biggest dumbass because there was like, okay, you have a copy of a DVD that's, that's incriminating evidence. You leave it on your laptop, right? You make no copies of it on your flash drive. You don't give a copy to each person. Because if you they already said they can't go to the police because they're stupid. So I'm just going to be like, alright, you're never going to go to the police. Whatever. All the evidence that they have, never make copies of it. Never have backups of it. You never, you leave your laptop open when you know you have this information on it. And this guy just comes and walks in, delete all your hard drive. And you're like, oh my god, how did this happen? Maybe because you left your laptop open? Like, they don't close their car windows. They don't lock their doors. You know? They don't, they don't do shit. They just do everything that the stupid girl handbook has. Like, oh, I'm not gonna lock my door. I'm not gonna, you know, delete my text. I'm not gonna do it. They're, they're complete idiots. They're fucking idiots. And it just frustrates me. Because it's just like, look, can you guys be smart for like two seconds? Just be like, look, we think this is this. Just say it. Because what are they gonna do? They're gonna be like, it was an accident. Okay, just get it over with. Apparently in the books they get the, the consequences for their actions come out more and that's great, I think that's better. But at the same time it's just like I'm so frustrated because it's like you guys are seriously the dumbest cast of characters on television today. But I can't stop watching you and I feel horrible because I'm just like ABC family, why are you fucking with me right now? Because I'm already watching Switch at Birth, which is like my soap opera. But this show is just stupid. But I don't I just wanna just shake them all, just like stop being a dumbass. Stop it! But I can't stop watching it. I want to see how Anne messes with their lives. It's so funny because it's so easy. Because she, like the thing about it, they lie and they cheat and they do things. And it's like they give themselves, they give Anne just enough, just enough rope to just be like. <laughs> and it's so funny. Just like you guys know, this chick is on your back twenty four seven. Do you try to live cleaner lives? No. Do you try to be honest in your regular day? No. Do you try to make you know? Do you try to become better people? absolutely fucking not so i just laugh and be like ha huh? you guys are lucky that you're pretty because no one would watch average looking little liars